Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Friday's budget presentation where Prime Minister Najib burned almost an entire hour with introductions before actually getting down with the numbers rubbed many people the wrong way. Pakatan Harapan MPs tried to hold it in as best they can until they all decided to walk out of the Dewan Rakyat together. Perhaps after being able to vent, they felt better. But in the middle of the hall, Dewan Rakyat Speaker Pandika Amin Mulia perhaps had to hold it in all weekend. Poor guy, no wonder why he's so frass. Apabila yang bermacam keluar pada waktu budget, saya tertekan oleh kena seolah-olah saya menghalau. Tetapi yang bermacam tahu semua dalam isi masing-masing bahawa perkara itu ada di rancang. Come on, man. Don't play games with me. You people play game between you politicians. Don't play game with me. Come on, bagan. Please, gomba. Matang tahu, tuan play game with me. After finishing his budget presentation on Friday, Prime Minister Najib Razak walked out of the Dewan Rakyat with his head held high, saying that the opposition had turned its back on the people's welfare when they walked out of the Dewan during the tabling of the budget, with Defence Minister Hishamuddin Hussein calling it irresponsible and just a gimmick, while AMNO Information Chief Anwar Musa expressed his disappointment with the opposition MPs. Transport Minister Liao Kyung Lai says that the opposition prefers to use drama to catch attention in the midst of what the people see as an important budget for the nation. Rural and Regional Development Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob called the behaviour of shouting here and there and walking out as childish. Selangor Amno Chief Uno Omar says that their action shows insolence and hopes that the people will reject them, noting that it looks like PPB and President Muhyiddin Yassin has become a follower of the opposition because he too walked out with the other Pakatan Harapan MPs. Youth and Sports Minister Kairi Jamaluddin says they should have stayed at least until the end of the budget. Say what you will about Pakatan Harapan, but one thing you can expect from them is a response. Good or bad, that's another story. But today, PKR Vice President Nurul Iza Anwar already has quite an answer. Tapi Perdana Menteri pun ya ambil keputusan tak datang, tak hadir. Jadi Perdana Menteri meneruskan prestasi tidak pernah hadir sebarang perbahasan belanjawan oleh Ketua Pemangkang dalam Dewan Rakyat. Jadi kalau pun kami buat sekali kerana beliau seorang kleptokrat, kurang-kurang kami hadir. Tapi ini satu yang malang buat Malaysia. Moving on to the topic of the advice that Prime Minister Najib gave to us when wrapping up his budget speech, PKR Secretary General Rafizi Ramli has an idea. Saya nak cadangkan kepada dia supaya Datuk Seri Najib bermula daripada minggu lepas jangan ambil gaji, jangan ambil apa-apa imbuhan, jangan ambil apa-apa elawan. Semua kos yang ditanggung oleh rakyat terhadap beliau, rumah dia, elektrik dia semua Lepas ni jangan ambil langsung supaya untuk potong perbelanjaan supaya kita dapat alihkan perbelanjaan yang sekarang ini kita tanggung dia untuk kita salurkan balik kepada pendidikan, pendidikan tinggi dan kesihatan. Dan untuk tampung perbelanjaan harian beliau, saya nak cadangkan supaya dia buat kerja sambilan untuk menjadi pemandu Uber pada sebelah malam. Sebab lagi pun dia bukan ada kerja sangat pun, dia dah ada Menteri Kewangan kedua untuk buat kerja dia. So he's actually quite free. So I think uh, among the easiest that he can do to very quickly help because I'm sure dia punya cost, um, salary semua ni I think easily campur allowance semua 150-160,000 a month that's already a few millions kemudian campur rumah, campur uh, jet esok uh, tunggu pasal jet dia lagi semua so saya, saya cadangkan dia forfeit semua jangan ambil satu sen pun that can easily save 30-40 million lepas ni suruh dia Dan kalau dia rajin lagi, suruh isteri dia pun buat jadi driver Uber juga malam-malam. So in the spirit of tightening our belts to bear with the global economic decline, Youth and Sports Minister Kairi Jamaluddin in a series of tweets today suggested that we let go of something we've had for a few years now. He suggests that Malaysia no longer hosts the Formula One race that takes place in Sepang, at least for a while. With ticket sales declining and viewership down, perhaps it's time for foreign visitors to look at Singapore or deal with the Great Firewall of China. This doesn't mean that he wants to get rid of the Sepang International Circuit, but instead perhaps to be host to less costly events such as the MotoGP and channel the savings towards development and increasing public access during track days. He knows that when the SIC was first established, it was the first in Asia to host the Formula One race outside of Japan. That novelty has since worn off. Just two weeks ago, former Premier Dr. Mahathir Mohamad San Mogzani Mahathir resigned as chairperson of the Sepang International Circuit, saying that he was asked to leave the position he held for 13 years. 
Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Abdul Rahman Dalan, has backed advice from an Utusan Malaysia column by Awang Salamat to blacklist companies that support or sponsor the Berse movement. Just yesterday, he said that he will be directing the Economic Planning Unit, or EPU, and the Public Private Partnership Unit, UCAS, to conduct background checks on companies that seek government contracts through the two agencies, saying that the time for being meek and tolerant is over. Berse 2.0 Chairperson Maria Chin Abdullah's immediate response on Twitter asked for Rahman Dalan to instead focus on the elephant in the room being fair elections, governance and anti-corruption. And that's the fact sheet for today. What is your take on the walkout during Prime Minister Najib's budget speech? Remember that only the tabling took place on Friday. The debate only starts today. Let's hear it in the comments. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video. I'm Daniel Anthony. Thanks for watching.